really quickly. Um, so now we have this is this is basically the the tick animation, um, and this is the truncated you know degree that that is basically just jumping six degrees every second. If we added this and this, then we would have a ticking animation. All right, so let me get rid of all these result nodes because they're getting a little confusing. Um, let me add a new math node. All right, and I'm going to set it to add. It's already set to that. And I, all I need to do now is add this range mapper to this multiply node. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, disconnect these two nodes and move them way out here. Um, and pipe the output into this and let's have a look at what we have. Okay. So you can see now by adding the, the, uh, jerky movement with the sort of sped up only at the tail end of the animation, uh, you know, tick movement, we now have a ticking clock. Now what, uh, what I thought was cool was that I could actually, um, you know, it's kind of a pain if I want to